Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome your faces to a brand new vlog where you're tuning in to see what can happen next. It's been a little while since I've actually picked up the camera because I've had a few weeks off because it's been a bit quiet. But life is about to get very interesting over the next few weeks. A lot of adventures, a lot of things kind of going on. But we thought before the madness sort of kind of kicks off with like wedding stuff, we thought we'd go for a nice day out, which we're going to go to a beautiful place called Rutland Water, which is a bit of a drive from us, but it's going to be worth it because when we get there, it's beautiful from the images I've seen online and I've only heard great stuff from talking to people about this place and they've been recommending me to go there for the last year since I'm moving up here so we're gonna go there today and go to experience it because it's a lovely day out there the sun's a bit out there a bit windy we're still gonna get out there because it was meant to be raining today so it was a bit touch and go for it gonna go or not we're just gonna go for it and see when we get there what the weather's like so fingers crossed it will be the weather's like here not rainy so we have made it to Rutland Water and you know what we've come to see is this beautiful thing because we're just walking by because it's a big massive lake all the way down there which I'll go to in a moment we have come to check out come to check out that don't that just look beautiful so yeah we've just arrived and it's about half a mile from the car park so we're about halfway in a minute uh, we're just going to come down to this big lake which is called Rutland Water a bit windy today just look at this just look at that Wow, wow, wow. Right, without any trees in the way, look at this from this view. Oh, it just looks absolutely beautiful. There is a wedding going on today, so it'd be interesting to know if we can actually get over there or not. So, fingers crossed we can get on there, but if we can't, maybe people rented out the church for the day, so maybe they just can't, we can't get onto the actual little island bit, so we'll have to wait and see until we get there. It has got quite windy now, but we have just been sat by this lake for like half an hour or something like that, just chilling, and we're just sat here the whole time. And it's the most random thing. Fine. Some kid has done this death. I literally sat in this. I chopped my button. I literally sat in it. So that would have been fun to chop off my backside. So we've got a little bit closer, but look at this. Just think we got that. With that cracking view. Just wow. Just look at that, man. Incredible. You can sort of see what the wedding venue looks like in there. Must be pretty beautiful, man. That's a really nice layout. Now, this is absolutely stunning. Isn't it? You can see. It's like looking out that window. Imagine sitting there looking out to that lake. Hey, no one is here right now. Absolutely lovely. I tried recording, there's two guys behind me. Guys, I want your opinion on this as well. Those two guys, right, we would just walk past. They're just taking selfies over, like with a tree on some rocks, but doing like some proper like posing. Yeah. Totally taking photos for a Tinder profile. Oh my God, they are, aren't they? Two guys out in nature. I, said, I said they're on a date together, but they are two guys that come from a culture which wouldn't approve of that. Yep. So I highly doubt that's really true. But it was like the guy was stood on some rocks wanting a picture. Yeah. And then he really got the giggles afterwards because they needed a ridiculous pose. And I was just like, you two are so cute. <laughs> yeah, that's what literally it was. Like two guys just like on the rocks getting pictures. And when we were walking back, there was a tree. And obviously we met boys climbing trees. Yeah, climbing so the tree was, sort of like, thing. He was like one leg up, one arm up. Like. <laughs> It was so classic, but I loved it. Generally, I was like, dead now you've said it, I know that's a Tinder profile. Yeah, Tinder profile for shoot. <laughs> so this place is like a real like, like activity sort of place. And what I say with that is, over that way, you got like, you can rent a boat and whatnot, sailboats. Over here, you can just like jump on a boat and it just goes around, because this land here is basically in the middle of like this big lake that you can go around. And then also you've got the fishing hiring over there, so you go fishing. So there's a lot of activities to do. You've got bike riding, riding here and stuff like that. Um, we can just go walking because you can park up. There's four car parks here, so you can park up one and walk across around this lake. But I think when I was speaking to someone, it's over 23 miles, the whole thing. So, oh, insect places as well, because I think Kirsty's been here before, like many, many years ago. Went to her favourite place, the butterfly place. Butterfly house. She really hates butterflies. <laughs> Just some Tinder shots. <laughs> Literally, the two guys are like, like leaning, like 
trying to like, like the climb and then but mate, it's a cracking view. And after a lovely little walk, because we got too windy out, we thought we'd make one stop off as to the garden centre. Hey, I'm just looking at the bonsai trees. Oh, look at the place on it. Got that tree there. So we're just here smelling stuff and I've just picked up this one to smell it. I smell it and it just reminds me of my nan. It's weird to say that. <laughs> that's, that's my review of uh, orange and lime and basil. Reminds me of my nan. <laughs> just look at those little uh, hatred cows I found. Ah, oh, that's so cute it is. But yeah, do you know you've got big bird stems? Look at the size of this one. That one's absolutely bloody ginormous. Makes my one look like a bloody midget one. <laughs> okay, Kirstie's just found a really good bird kind of thing. As I Look, how much is it? It's 380. I thought it's going to be like 500. Not that bad, yeah. Oh, what? This looks really interesting. Look at that one. This looks well interesting. I really like this. Do I suppose it tastes, my love? I do, I do. That is nice, though. Look at that, that's 45 pounds. Don't know why. I really like that. I was just saying the Kirsty, I just can't believe it's a Saturday. It's only like half four. And how quiet it is in here. It's like, yeah, it's just like barely no one inside the garden centre. Huh? You think it's still quite busy at this time of day? Absolutely. Surprised. So, obviously, we're back home now. Rutland Water was absolutely lovely. Was a bit surprised. I thought it was going to be a bit more to it in a way, but it was a very, like, activity sort of place, like go for bike rides, go for walking. I thought it would be a little bit more to it. Um, obviously, you got you could rent a boat, go fishing. It, it was okay for what it was, but um, I don't see myself rushing back there anytime soon, but it was beautiful just to go see that because I think that's probably, like, the main highlight of going there. Um, if we do go there again in the future, I'll probably rent a bike, then do some biking around there because there was a place there which we wanted to go look at places to rent a bike but they didn't have any pricing so i think that's going to have to be a bit of a google thing for next time if we do go back there because i do like to go for a good bike ride i haven't been on one in years so that might be a future vlog thing um but after last we went to the garden center and, and you know what i had to pick this up i saw this um not in the garden center but as such in the uh shop next to it which is called the works some classic games really because uh, me and kirstie have been kind of trying to get into like collecting like more kind of like games for the house and stuff like that and i picked up some Jenga and which do not at me at this the best game ever Connect 4 honestly don't even at me this is simply the best game simple but fun I love these two quid eight pounds I'm quite happy so yeah went and did those things today and yeah came home chilled and just finished watching Shutter Island which was quite good never watched that before and uh, you know what must be said the ending was fantastic if you've never seen Shutter Island before highly recommend Ooh. Right, people, we have had an update regarding the car situation. The car drama, it's finally got an update. I'm going to do a little bit of a backtrack on what's happened. So, back in this, obviously, last summer, we got this brand new car. But with that, we traded in Kirstie's old car as well to help us get this newer one. Then, basically, in December last year, we had a report come through from our insurance people that a third party has claimed that this car has been an accident. And we're like, no. Poss impossible because this car was still on the road drivable there's n this is was in mint condition because we only got it last summer and we sent them videos of where i've been doing vlogging of us with the car photos we sent them so much proof that we didn't need to provide but we were willing to because we were like we want this over and done with as soon as possible because we don't want this on our records and we don't want the stress but this third party insurance just kept going on at us for weeks and weeks and weeks and months about no this is the car that crashed into our car and this was just luckily it wasn't really us we had to deal with it. our insurance company were dealing with it and we didn't really get much updates with it um and every now and then we got the odd email and stuff like that and it was causing a lot a little bit of stress before myself and Kirsty. and basically we got to a point where we didn't really hear nothing then we thought the matter was closed because we spoke to someone at our insurance company quite high up and like yeah it should be solved whatnot because we've got proof here which we're not going to send them because that's just a veil of privacy and stuff like that so we're not going to up, but we can see that your car is in perfect condition they're just trying to maybe pull a fast one so then basically we left it we thought it was done with and we got told the flag on our insurance account should be gone in a matter of weeks and whatnot Kirsty just randomly went on i think she was just going to go check when the re renewal of the insurance was due and she noticed the account was still flagged so she emailed them again going what is going on we got told this was going to be done then that, that, this hierarchy person was like i thought this was done as well but no they were the third party insurance was still pushing an adamant that it was us after 
a week or so we did get an update basically well, a few weeks after that we did get an update regarding what has happened so basically what has happened was there the insurance company had the wrong car it was Kirsty's old car and basically they were adamant that it was still Kirsty driving the car but it wasn't because it's in a newer person's name but they the insurance company couldn't be asked to do the much of their research and then that was that situation but they were still kept going and going and going and going and pushing but it was adamant it was Kirsty and not the new owners of that car so that that was kind of that thing there so we're just like waiting for the insurance people to deal with it because they got the records we don't have i think currently the car that Percy's old car was not insured with the insurance company or that we're with so they've got the evidence there going no our client is insured with this car matches this description number plate all that stuff this car now is with another company insurance company so you need to go chase them not us because the person who was registered on that car is now with us sort of thing but that car's long gone sort of thing we had a breakthrough which was the insurance company, the third party one, finally admitted, oh yes, we're wrong. We were chasing the wrong person. Um, and they were like, yes, we uh, found the right person now. So we don't need you no more because we've actually found the right person. Hurrah, the matter is solved. Our insurance is actually due um, this month, which it means we can renew our insurance without a flag on the account and we've still got our no claims and stuff like that so hurrah the matter is solved and moved on the case is closed after six months of this stress of knowing is this going to get solved or whatnot and so the fact this third per third party company just kept pushing and pushing and pushing saying it was us but the fact that it wasn't it's thank god it's over i'm over and moon the fact it's done and dusted because i was getting a bit stressed about it nothing to be stressed about now because the matter is solved so there's your car update on the insurance hopefully we could put this to bed and move on and fingers crossed have no more drama regarding the car we can just get going and have no worries until we go for our service in a few <laughs> in a few months time where it's going to be probably be something there but for now we enjoy the moment our boy sonic not having any problems and no stress there's your little update but there we are ladies and gentlemen we have reached the end of the vlog um today's vlog was a bit different from normal uh, normally i show a little bit little thing throughout the day but i've been trying to mainly just stick to the main highlights and just not boring try to bore you too much with the same old same old um but if you did enjoy this make sure you leave a like leave a comment down below let me know how you enjoyed this vlog like show mainly just the main highlights um and nothing like too simple as like making a cup of coffee and stuff like that um but if you did miss that sort of stuff and you want to see that then that's like comments down below and uh make sure you subscribe don't forget the ding dong the bell because when you hitting that ding dong bell that lets me lets you know there's a brand new video live on our channel which is every single saturday at seven o'clock on the channel where you can tune in to see what could happen next and what's coming up next we've got a lot of stuff happening we've got some an adventure away very very soon for Kurt, kirstie's 30th birthday we've got my birthday trip coming up as well and we've got some other little adventures as well booked in around the summer and just everything so make sure you tune in for that and also not forgetting the wedding stuff as well because it's coming crunch time with the wedding stuff as well thank you very much for watching today love your faces take care i'll see you next weekend Bye bye